Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and have you ever wanted to have a greyhound? But not just any greyhound, a bittersweet greyhound? Let's get into it. It's great to have every single one of you back here today. We are taking a look at the bittersweet greyhound. Now, the original greyhound consisted of two ingredients, gin and grapefruit juice, and it's been around since the 1930s in the Savoy Cocktail Book. However, it was officially named in 1945 in Harper's Magazine in print as a Greyhound. Now, I did a little bit of digging, and you can sort of come up with a grapefruit and carbonated gin drink from 1917 from an actual agricultural uh, index of all things. Now, this cocktail I found on Instagram, and it was created, or at least put up there, by the Moody Mixologist. And it looked really, really great. He's got a little TikTok video on there and everything, and I will put a link to that Instagram post down in the description below. But it's a simple cocktail. I've never had it. I've never had a Greyhound it for a fact. And you know what? I really wanna try it. I was just blown away by how nice it looked. Now this is a simple build in the glass cocktail. And so the first thing you need is your glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to build it tall style like he did in his Instagram post. And I even made some tall iced columns just for this. Put that back. The first thing you're going to use though is some grapefruit juice. Now in this case I'm using Tropicana grapefruit juice. It's 100% pure grapefruit juice and I broke down only because of the cost of grapefruits at the time. And you know what? Sometimes need must. But this is no sugar added so you're just getting just straight juice. And we're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. So the color starts off really, really nice. Now I do like grapefruit juice. Depending on the type of grapefruit juice you use, you have some that's more sweet and more bitter. Totally depends. You could use a pink grapefruit juice or a white grapefruit juice. Totally your choice. It's your cocktail. The next thing we need is some soda water. In this case, I'm using Canada Dry. And this is um, obviously Canada Dry because I'm Canadian. Actually, it's what I could get. You could use Schweppes, you could use Soda Stream. totally up to you. And we're gonna use another two ounces or 60 milliliters. Look at that, gorgeous. The, your next ingredient is Campari. Now this is where the bitter aspect of it comes in. And I expect this is going to be toned down for bitterness because it's going to have to compete with the grapefruit juice. And we need half an ounce only. This will actually give us some color as well. Half an ounce works out to 15 milliliters. Oh! oh. You can't go wrong with something that looks like that. You really can't. And if you can, leave a comment down below and let me know what your uh, having gone wrong experience was. The next thing you need is your gin of choice. In this case, we're using Empress 1908 gin. It comes from British Columbia. It contains butterfly pea flower. And it's what gives it this incredible blue look that turns light purple when it's mixed with citrus. However, what we're going to do when I actually realized that I need an ounce and a half of this and not half an ounce. And you want to slowly layer this on top so it floats on top and gives you that nice distinct layer. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful layers, nice and sharp. But we're gonna garnish this. now. I don't happen to have any grapefruits, so I'm going to use an orange. And actually, I think it'll give us a very, very nice uh, look and color and just some slightly different citrus notes. We're going to just express the oils in like so. And we're going to make it look pretty by just trimming it up so it's nice. Apparently, my knife is a little dull today. Nice, sharp edges. And we're going to give it a twist like so. And put it right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's give it a smell. So immediately I do actually get some hints of grapefruit, probably from the top of the ice and the orange juice or the oils from the orange. And I'm having some problems speaking here today. So really, really interesting. Let's give this a sip. Oh, that's good. 
That's good. Mind you, I did mo drink mostly the gin first. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I like this gin, so we'll add a little bit more just to give it that look. And now we'll mix it and try it again. <laughs> I got a little excited. I like the gin. Oh yeah. Take your knife, give it a bit of a swirl. We're just gonna mix this up slightly. Barbarian David strikes again. Now let's get all the flavors. Mm, that's really good. It's not overly bitter. It's not overly gin. The gin's a great choice to go with the floral taste of the uh, pink grapefruit. And even those orange oils on top. And it mixes really, really well with the Campari. It's really, really good. And it's stellar to look at. What I am going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If you think that we should try different types of juices, different types of bitters, or even a different type of flavored gin, please put that down in the comments as well. And if you would like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a great day. My name is David Edwards, and have you ever wanted to have a grayscale? Grayscale. However, it didn't officially become named as the Greyhound until 1945. It stopped.